what's going on YouTube? Right now I'm going to uh, going to head to Paris Mountain. I'm going to head to the bottom of it. I don't think I can work my way up. But I know there's some good twisties on the bottom of it. But if I go all the way to like Highway 178, I think it's almost about an hour. I don't know if I want to do that right now. So the bottom of Paris Mountain is like 30 minutes. So we're going to head there. Shred it up real quick. Got the boots on. The gloves and the jacket. So, um, But I'll catch you guys either on the highway. Give it a couple rips. Or when, I'm, when I like get there. Alrighty. Highway time, baby. God, I couldn't shift there for a second. <laughs> Whew. Hope you guys are all doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good. Good, good Saturday, good weather. Hyped to be riding. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my baby right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll catch you guys when we get to the mountains. All right, Twisty's up here, I think. Just filled up the gas, baby. Tank's nice and chilly. crazy over there.
you guys see that dude stick his hand out the window? It looks like a little wet here. Push forward more on the bar, see. That's what We're gonna go back. Oh, we're gonna go back. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna go in the shade right here. All right. So what I'm really trying to practice is here. Let me turn around and we can look at some scenery while we talk. So. What Moto, Moto Jiu Jitsu really talked about in the video that I watched, like learning how to like lean, drag knee. I don't have pants on, but you know, I'm not going to drag knee on the second day. Um, he really talked about the main thing that really stuck out to me was really big is looking through the corner because like 80% should be looking through the corner. And he said another 20% was uh, like kind of look at your surroundings, what's around you on the road and shit. So that's what I kind of need to improve on, looking more through the corner. So, like, obviously, you know where you're going. Give your brain more time to kind of think about where you want to go. And they really made, like, if you do that, like, you should be like, yeah, I want to be there in 15 seconds. Because you're looking through the corner, you'd be like, so say you're looking through the corner, you're, like, you're right here. You should be looking up here and be like, okay, I want to be here at this time. And, you know, um, so that, looking through the corner, um, breaking. There's so much, guys. Um, like, breaking it, like, get your speed right coming into the corner, which is I got to do more. Like, I got to get a right speed coming through, the, like, into the corner. If you're coming too fast, it's going to be hard to adjust. But, you know, if you're going at the speed you want, you can either adjust it, slow down, speed up. He said, never too much front brake or you're going to crash. Actually, or the dude I just met a couple days ago crashed because he used too much front brake in the corner. And he just won't slow out. Um... But yeah, as soon as you let off the gas, it's gonna your bike's gonna like lean forward. It's, there's so much to it, guys. Um, and counter steering is really big. Like if you want to go left, you push forward on the bar, not down. Because if you want to go, it's it's it, it's it's kind of weird. It didn't make sense to me at first, but it makes sense now because if you're leaning and you push forward, it's kind of it's gonna give you more. It just makes sense once you do it. So you gotta practice counter steering more. Um. But yeah. Um. 
hope you guys like these rides in the mountains i'm gonna go go back down and yeah we're just gonna keep practicing guys you get better so because these roads we didn't have these in ohio so i'm hyped about these let me know if i should put music over this too or if you guys just want like the sound of it because i'm always i'm usually concentrating when i do it so 